So maybe just close, make a fist, open, close, open, then extend your hands again, palms pushing each other, breathe in, breathe out, hug down, breathe in, breathe out, the other side. Just one to two breaths. Then again, pull your hands upright in the uh, height of your shoulders and then right hand down under your left oh, for your shoulders. So this, maybe you will feel the warmth of your shoulders now. Other side, push yourself. And other one. Good. And then on the back, I will show you Good, right hand up. Maybe you can touch your shoulder blade, left hand up, and then pull in your elbows down. One to two breaths. You breathe with, uh, from your nose and breathe out through your mouth. Other side. So release. Now, maybe we are ready. Let's go to our step, uh, four, all fours. It means your shoulders, your wrist under your shoulders, your knees under your hips, hip wide, hands as wide as your shoulders. Then let's do the cat and cow to activate your spine. So if we breathe in, let your belly down, shoulders two and under, retract, and look up, breathe in, breathe in through your nose. Then breathe out to your mouth. And we'll do the other way around. So you push your belly in around your back. So let's do it two times more. So breathe in like a cow. That's why they call it cat and cow. And breathe out like a cat. So round your back. And really be aware of your breath. You move with your breath. Breathe in and breathe out. Good. And then now come forward to your mat so you have space for your back. You stretch your right leg and push your heels into the mat. Maybe two to three times. Good. And then change the other side. Push your heels into your mat so you will feel the stretch at the back of your legs. Good. So now we are in all fours. What I want to say, to, to remind you again, we will not count the minutes you will stay. We will count your breaths and this is your timer. So if you can breathe, go on. You breathe in through your nose. You breathe out through your mouth. Okay. So if you cannot breathe anymore, come back, come out from the position and maybe you can go to chest pose. This is in the yoga. So we sit on our heels and stretch the hands back and rest your forehead on the ground. Okay, so this is always, this is a space for you to come out from the position. So come to all fours, then come on your elbows down, palms down. Other and shoulder width apart. Okay, then extend your leg. Other one. Okay, then you are in the plank. So see to it that your bum is not too high and not too low. And straighten your body as much as you can. And your timer is your breath. So around six breaths, it will be around one minute. So maybe you will just do three to four breaths at the beginning. Breathe in through your nose. Breathe out through your mouth. Three more. Activate your core. Belly button into your spine. Shoulder protract. Don't collapse. One more breath. And then maybe make some movements forward and down, back. So push on your heels, forward, back. Two more, forward, back. Then come back to your 
your knees. Good. And then child's pose. Rest for a while. Then again to your forearms. Let's do for your obliques. Straighten your legs, maybe your feet a little bit wider, and then take again this position. Your forearm plank. And then now one elbow parallel to the mat. And then slide a flip on your right uh, side or left, whatever you want. And maybe put your hands on in the back of your neck or to your hips. That's what you needed for the moment. If you want, you can put your other leg up over another. Now come back. If you want, you can dip your hip. So let's do three breaths more here, maybe. Breathe in up, breathe in, breathe out down. And then stay one more breath. And then release. Let's come back again to our child's pose. Anytime available for you. And come back to your breath. Maybe you feel the warmth already. And now back to your forearm plank. Again, put your elbows down. Then the legs or lower body <laughs> and come to this position for track your shoulder blades belly core active one breath more here and then slide on the other side good maybe your hands on your behind your neck or they're on your hips or straighten you can do what you want What's best for you? Two more breaths. And if you want more movement, maybe dip. Breathe in here, dip your hip down. Breathe in up, hip down. Up, hip down. And stay here, maybe for two more breaths. That's around 10 seconds. And then release. Good. Again, to child's pose. Breathe in, breathe out. And then let's come back all fours. And then this time, let's come up to downward facing dog. You can put your heels, release your knees, and then your sitting bone up, up, up. You want it on, upward on the sky. <laughs> so pointing up, release your head and you are really uh, not putting some pressure on your neck here. You can check it, you can say yes, no, yes, no. And then straighten your right leg, left is bended and then maybe paddle a few times, left, Let's straighten, right leg straighten, one, two, three, and four. Then maybe both and heels up, your bum up to the sky, sitting bone up to the sky, head again, check. You are relaxed. And then breathe out, put both of your heels down, and then you can put your weight forward. So. That means your shoulders are over your wrist. Again, it's like a forearm plank. This is a traditional plank. Maybe. And then core is activated. Breathe in. <coughs> Breathe out. Let's stay for four breaths more here. Breathe in. Protract your shoulders. Shoulders away from each other belly core 
is activated, the legs activated, every part of your body is activated. One more. And to relax, go back to your breath, to your downward facing dog. Release your head, release your neck, and maybe again put some paddle on your legs. So one bend, extended one, bend it, and alternate. Breathe in, breathe out. And let's do it one more time. So you will put your weight now forward, come forward, your shoulders under your wrist, heels under your toes, uh, over your toes. And again, activate your core, your shoulders protracted away from each other. You're looking down your mat and maybe we can hold for three more breaths here. Through your nose, through your mouth, breathe out. One more. And then release downward facing dog. One breath more here, and then we have our last exercise, our last movement for today. Maybe we can put our uh, feet wider than our hips, then come back to our traditional plank, and then let's twist on our right. And then release the left hand, shoulders, wrist in one line. And again, like what we do in the forearm plank, maybe your hands up, hands under your, or behind your neck, or, uh, or on your hips. Okay, and stay here. Three to four breaths. Relax. Concentrate all your breath. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. One more. Breathe in. Breathe out. Shoulders to shoulders in one line. And then other side. Last one. We can do it together. So. Traditional plank, then twist on your left or on your right, wherever you are, other side. And then hands behind your neck, order on your hips, order up, and breathe for three or four, whatever you can do for the moment. Two more or three more. Maybe last one now, hips up, and then come back, and now chest pose. And really release here, you can stay as long as you want, my body is already warm. So that's all for today, but you can stay on your chest pose as long as you want to come back to your breath. So I'm saying ade, goodbye to you and hope to see you soon. Bye.